Long day. New research shows that days on Earth are getting longer as the moon slowly spirals away from us. Due to gravitational forces between Earth and its satellite, the moon moves away at a rate of 3.82 centimeters per year, causing our planet's rotation to slow. According to NASA, Earth currently completes a full rotation on its axis every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds. But researchers using astrochronology on geological rock layers found that when the moon was closer to Earth 1.4 billion years ago, a day was just over 18 hours. The length of a day has grown 175 thousandth of a second on average per year and is expected to continue at this rate for the next millions or billions of years. The moon will eventually stop moving when it reaches a stable distance from Earth. When this happens, the two will be tidally locked, rotating at the same pace, with the moon visible from only one side of Earth. Of course, that's assuming either of them survive the sun's destructive red giant phase. What else is out there? Three, two, one, blast off. SpaceX is all set to launch the world's most powerful rocket into deep space, and with it, a most unusual cargo, Elon Musk's own car. The Falcon Heavy rocket features three Falcon 9 engine cores that are powered by 27 Merlin engines. Instead of concrete or steel blocks that act as mass simulators, the rocket's payload will be a red Tesla Roadster. The Falcon Heavy is designed to get large payloads into space and opens up the possibility of sending manned missions to the moon or Mars. The powerful vehicle has has 2,500 tons of thrust on liftoff, equal to 18 Boeing 747s at full throttle. Its maiden flight is scheduled for late January. A lot of risk is associated with the rocket, which could blow up on ascent. If successful, the Tesla Roadster will be sent into Mars orbit, where it will remain for a billion years. On top of this, SpaceX is also aiming to land and recover all three of the heavy's first stage cores. Meanwhile, on Monday, the Dow Jones reported that lawmakers have been informed about the apparent destruction of a secretive payload, codenamed Zuma, after being taken into space on a recent SpaceX launch. The payload reportedly may have burned up in the atmosphere after failing to separate correctly from the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. NASA finds star system with seven Earth-like planets. NASA this week unveiled a major discovery of a star system that contains seven planets similar to Earth. What's exciting is that three of them might just be habitable enough to support extraterrestrial life. Using the Spitzer Space Telescope and Earth-based telescopes, NASA scientists have found a star system called TRAPPIST-1, located 40 light-years from Earth. The ultra-compact system contains seven Earth-like planets, with surface temperatures low enough to support water. Three of these planets are believed to be in the habitable zone, close to the system's ultra-cool dwarf star. These planets take 6, 9, and 12 days, respectively, to orbit the dwarf star. Scientists believe their Earth-like planetary compositions may not only support water, but maybe even life. NASA calculations reckon that all the newly discovered planets have a rocky surface, but the space agency says more investigation is needed to determine if any of them contain water. In 2018, NASA will launch the James Webb Space Telescope and will use this for further research into the TRAPPIST-1 system. This telescope can reportedly pinpoint water, methane, oxygen, ozone, and other elements of a planet's atmosphere. The TRAPPIST-1 system is located 235 trillion miles from our solar system, which means if you wanted to catch a flight there, the journey would take about 44 million years. So, still faster than a Spirit Airlines flight. Are there aliens on Titan? New research suggests that Saturn's moon Titan may contain the key elements of life. Using data from NASA's Cassini satellite, one study found that Titan's upper atmosphere is home to carbon chain anions. These serve as a stepping stone to more labyrinthine molecules that can develop life. Separately, another study found vinyl cyanide in Titan's atmosphere. Scientists speculate that this forms the outer wall of a cell and protects the biochemistry that takes place within. Titan's atmosphere is one of the most complex observed by astronomers, and these studies further bolster the idea the moon may be home to organic life. This asteroid will come closer to Earth than the moon. NASA says a massive space rock will come close to Earth in October, but no need to roll out the welcome mat, it's just passing by. 
Asteroid 2012 TC4 is on a trajectory to fly close to Earth on Thursday, October 12th. On that day, according to Space.com, the space rock will be around 27,000 miles from Earth. That's eight times closer to the planet than the Moon. Astronomers are looking forward to investigating asteroid 2012 TC4 because it has roughly the same proportions as the one that hit a Russian town in 2013. And while that event may look spectacular from afar, it also injured close to 1,500 people and damaged some 7,200 buildings. Scary, right? Zombie satellite found by amateur stargazer. A zombie was found in space last weekend. A zombie satellite, that is. Scott Tilly received a signal from a spacecraft number 2000-017A-26113. That's NASA's missing image satellite. After being launched in 2000 by the space agency, the satellite was thought to be long gone after scientists lost contact with it in 2005. The satellite was sent into space to investigate Earth's magnetosphere, the space around our planet controlled by our planetary magnetic field. NASA is now reportedly working around the clock with old software in a bid to communicate with the zombie satellite. Maybe John Constantine can help. Anybody up for some lunar cave diving? Scientists this week may have come across something that could lead to the first ever human outpost in space. A large and cavernous lava tube was this week confirmed to exist beneath the surface of the moon. These tubes are volcanic underground passages formed by flowing lava to funnel this substance. Once the flow stops, the tube remains with features similar to a cave. The discovery was made by a team of Japanese and American scientists who used data from the Selene and Grail spacecraft to acoustically map the enormous lava tube. The chasm is around 100 meters wide and 50 kilometers long and located in the Marius Hills region of the celestial body. It could provide shelter to astronauts during moon missions, protecting them from dangerous cosmic radiation. This could potentially allow for the development of a lunar exploration base. And that moon base, Homo sapiens, could very well lead to a human colony.